10 Parameters of Effectiveness When you deliver the passion of deep branding, customers desire to bond with you and your brand. Use these review points to ensure that your brand maximizes its effectiveness on shelf. 1. Be compelling. Make it easy to act now. Reduce the risk to act now. Make it important to act now. Deliver on the urge to action. Do not leave the customer to guess what the next desired step is. 2. The selling proposition. Only have one unique selling proposition per package. Have a unique USP. No other product can make the identical claim. Answer the question, why should I buy this product? Avoid the me too selling proposition. An out of focus fuzzy USP is death to a brand. Clarity of understanding. That's simplicity is king. Use universally recognized symbols, be direct, demonstrate the benefits, avoid unreadable fonts, clutter, subtlety, complexity, and humor. Desire arousing. Deliver an appealing desire arousing presentation. Use sensory fuel to invigorate and involve the senses in the sale. Use primal instinct appeal where possible. Appetite, sex, safety, security. Present positive benefits. Show the value. Appeal to the strongest customer need. Be memorable. Be different. Use any advertising recognition your brand possesses. Appeal to the emotional benefit. Lead with a visual or verbal hook. 6. Believability. Use documented impressive facts. Use a compelling demonstration. Use understatement. Use charts, graphics, and other documentation. Provide expert testimonials. Avoid cartoons with serious products. Use real people, not models. 7. Impact. Deliver a strong USP. Use few visual elements. Use striking visuals with a unique twist. Show a strong human relationship bond with the product. Portray a dramatic presentation. Show a strong on-target benefit. Be different. Avoid clutter. Headlines and visuals must engage and complement each other. 8. Stay interesting. Present interesting facts. Make it fun and appealing. Show product benefits in action with people. Add drama. Show comparisons. The USP must address a real customer problem and view life from a different angle. 9. On target. Speak to the customer's own culture and in their own language. Make them identify with the product and their AOBs. Address their real needs. Capitalize on the customer's interests. Number 10. Attention getting. Be original. Depict emotion and motion. Contrast your product from the competition. Be bold. Use strange or different approach to make life interesting. Make it appealing. Use known celebrities and characters. Now let's look at a few ways to maximize the profit potential deep within your brand, starting with deep branding and brand leadership. Number one, deep branding is one of the essential keys to maximizing the profit potential of your brand. After viewing these videos, you should understand the following. A, work the working elements inside the brand DNA. B, how a brand works to motivate customer selection. C, how to assess what is it is that your customers value. Understanding the elements and the structure of a brand provides a roadmap to find your way around inside a brand and make the adjustments at the molecular level that are required to maximize your brand's profit potential. The results of adjusting and tinkering with the molecular elements of your brand toward what customers value can deliver the most profitable and least expensive results within your entire marketing effort. Small adjustments to your brand can increase the product demand, shareholder value, and future investment. Tweaking the brand. By knowing what's under a brand's hood and how things work, you can perform the maintenance required to adjust your brand to meet the ever-changing needs of customers and culture shifts. Proper brand adjustment creates a value increase chain reaction throughout the entire business model. As a brand steward, your job is to locate and mine the untapped potential profit residing within your brand by making the delicate value adjustments required to maximize your brand's profit. Get these three elements right and your brand will win at retail. One, the right customer value set. Two, the right brand DNA mix. 
and three, the right creative execution. Brand leadership arrives from top down, from the executive team. The brand is a crucial business asset. A brand may appear intangible to a manager familiar with assigning tangible assets to a balance sheet, but in actuality, a brand may be your most valuable asset. Production driven versus value driven. The leadership of your firm needs to decide if they want to become a production driven firm that ignores the value of a brand and thereby is relegated to compete on price alone, or it will embrace the value of a brand driven business model that offers to sell products more profitably based upon delivered customer value. An increase in brand equals an increase in profit. Studies show that firms experiencing large gains in brand equity and defined by measurement of brand awareness, quality, and loyalty show an average. 40% more return on investment than the average for firms experiencing a loss in brand equity. Brand excellence drives business. Excellence in branding is a strategic driver of many successful businesses. Apple and Target are two great examples of firms that have made huge inroads in market share growth by utilizing deep branding methods with their customer base. While embracing a market position for their brand, customers fight for market share based on price and Me Too products. Branding excellence explains why an iPod can outsell a competitive music player at three to four times the price. It also explains why Target can survive and excel against its price-driven rivals. Next up, measuring brand effectiveness. 